dangerously low on air before the sensor was installed. The Premier is getting a first-hand look at how technology developed in BC is working in real time in Africa. Cal Tire is monitoring tire pressure on big rigs at a mine in Mozambique. So in the first column here, we have the, the unique ID number for the truck itself. But what's the risk then? I mean, if that problem persists... Damaging the tire, the tire, because it's one of the rear tires. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, and the technology that it allows us to monitor from here in Vernon, what's going on down at Mozambique? This is a big tire. Actually, it's a really big tire. The type of tires that you find on earth movers at mining sites all over the world. And they have six tires per truck and they change them once a year. So you can imagine the cost savings involved if, for example, they're underinflated. These tires are anywhere from fifty to $80,000 for one tire with one truck running six tires. So if we can save between five to 30% of that tire cost, we're, we're into the hundreds of thousands of dollars for each truck per year. And rolling these distances is actually worse at slow speeds, which is what these mining trucks do. And so the ideal is that if it's underinflated by, say, three or four PSIs on a regular tire, uh, the gas consumption can go up by a percent. We save somewhere between five and ten million dollars a mine per year. The technology was developed as a joint venture between CalTire and SST Wireless, which is also based in Vernon. The true tire technology is used in giant haul trucks that operate in some of the most extreme conditions on the planet. The sensors inside the tire send back real-time info like pressure and temperature to the mine's base station. This data allows the mine operator to better manage their tires, one of the top three expenses at a mine site. It will enable the operator to extend the life of the tires, cut down on fuel consumption, and provide a safer ride for the drivers. We were fortunate to work with a company the caliber of SST Wireless and together develop true tire technology that is currently being used on a variety of mine sites in a number of countries. There was a 2007 mandate in the U.S. to have all passenger vehicles have mandatory TPMS. But the reality is there's big, big you know, multinational companies playing in that field and it really wasn't practical. So this is when, uh, in, I think around 2006, uh, CalTire and SSD kind of started collaborating on an idea. Uh, original prototypes were quite different from what we had. They're more bowling ball size. Now they're like a golf ball size. It's a sensor that essentially fits inside one of our large mining tires and it monitors the pressure and the temperature inside the chamber of the tire. And then this data is sent back every 32 seconds to a central base station. So this, all this data can be viewed live remotely anywhere in the world. British Columbians all know we do forestry really well, we do mining really well, natural gas really well. We, why do we do all of that really well? Because we have managed to marry high-tech innovation, like the, the, the innovation we see here from SST, to our resource sector through companies uh, like CalTire. This is really the future of where we need to go. Now SST is looking to expand further from the mining industry. For example, into the transit field where safety is paramount. Especially with tires because it's something that could be avoided. Right? You don't have to have that kind of accident. Uh, fuel consumption is also important. A transit agency with about a thousand buses is going to spend somewhere around 50 million dollars a year in fuel. Right? So you save 5% of that, that pays for the system itself, and all the subsequent years, it's actually a return investment for the transit agency. 